that was War of the Worlds tour. Uh, we were in Toronto. I want to say May 2019. Uh, four four way match with then champion Jeff Cobb, Brody King, and Hiroki Goto. Go uh, Goto, who had beaten me previously in a singles, Cobb, who had beaten me on two occasions in a singles match, uh, and once in Philly, and then at the I want to say the best in the world pay per view in in Vegas, which was my very first singles match on pay per view. Mm-hmm. Um, I have for like four or five years being with them. Yeah, that I mean? was about four so, years later. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. So, uh, it was funny because uh, so we have the match with Cobb in Philly, and people think like the momentum started there, but actually, it was the match that I had with Hangman Page prior to that. So I had a great match with Hangman Page that carried me into the match with Cobb, and that day, I told him I was like, "Hey, man, uh, I have a chip on my shoulder today, and I have a point to prove." So just so you know, that's what I'm coming into this with. And he was like, cool, let's do it. And <laughs> yeah, he's like, that's all you need to say. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So that was what it was. And I had, you know, the I, I spent like six weeks in, in the UK, had that buzz. So by the time contracts came, or came around, there was buzz here. There was buzz internationally. Everything sort of came into place mm-hmm. at the right time. Uh, and then that fostered into the TV title run. Uh, which a lot of people are saying that it was their favorite run, mm-hmm. you know, in history other than Jay Lethal's, yeah. which is high praise. Yep. Um, and, and to be one of only three African-Americans to ever win the championship in the 20 year history of the company, that means the world to me. And I knew once I won, something clicked in me immediately because I looked back um, and in that venue and you could, couldn't see them because they were farther in the back, but there was a group uh, of, of black fans there, probably like like 20, mm-hmm. right? And while e- everybody throughout was either cheering or booing or kind of like in, in shock, like, oh, I can't believe you won, they were absolutely losing their minds. And I mean, like, you would have thought Prince walked on stage. They were crying. People were holding up. Che- they were, and I knew right then, okay, this is bigger than me. This is, like, this is, I this run needs to be something that people can hold on to Mm -hmm. right and and after that ended it was like okay what's the next thing 